Well, Governor Rick Perry is still in Iowa right now, talking to more voters since announcing that he wants to be president. Back here at home, though, work is beginning to energize and motivate Republicans across Texas. Democrats are also using Perry's announcement, hoping to conjure up that same energy. KXAN's Katina McHenry joins us live with more on that. Thank you, Robert. Well, when Governor Perry gets back here, he has a lot to do. I talked to his campaign people today who told me they haven't set up his campaign office yet. They are, haven't even started looking for space yet. It's still early, but the momentum is already starting to build with Republicans and Democrats. I got up here and I was trying to figure out how to get this hay back to Texas. Governor Rick Perry has a packed schedule of speeches in Iowa Monday and Tuesday, riling up supporters. I know what this country needs. And we need to get Americans back working. We need to be able to create an environment in this country where anybody that wants to work can find that job. And I'm really proud of what we've done in the state of Texas over the last decade. Monday is a new beginning for Texas politics. Republicans back here in Austin and across the state are hoping to take that same energy all the way to the White House. The idea is that with two Texas Republicans vying, there's a better chance of getting one of them to Washington. I think if the election was this November, the odds are overwhelming and the Republican candidate would win. But a lot can happen in a year and two months. Monastery says office staff at the Republican Party of Texas has spent much of their day taking phone calls from people wanting to join in. President Obama has energized the Republican party like no office holder in my lifetime so the Republican base is chomping at the bit for the next election and so are the Democrats they are trying to boost the same energy by calling their constituents reminding their members of Perry's record Rick Perry is extremely unpopular with the, the Democratic Party and and middle of the road families here in Texas because they're they're about to realize what happens when a governor like Perry balances the state budget on the backs of the least fortunate. With election day not till next year, both parties still have a lot of work to do in the meantime. They both say one step at a time. Book. Well, Perry's staff says once they return to Austin this week, they will begin looking for space for their campaign headquarters. Live in the studio, Katina McHenry, KXAN News.